Hey guys, Nika Banana. Happy, happy, happy TT Tuesday. Yeah, it's TT Tuesday already. But I was scrolling through my emails and I have this question so often. And I know that I have made videos covering this topic, but I think they're gone now because all my YouTube channels got deleted. So some of you guys have been giving me shit. Oh my god, you're like at a thousand subs and you were like at 20,000 before. I'm like, oh well, yeah, sometimes YouTube sucks and sometimes you have to start from scratch. It's not something that I have to do, it's just something that I want to do. So chill out, bro. So you guys have been asking, Nika Banana, do you prefer big bananas, small bananas, medium bananas, skinny bananas? Tell us, tell us. And like I said, I know that I've covered this before, but I'm going to cover it again for you guys. And I'm not going to lie, to me, comparing bananas, oh, and we're talking about the male anatomy, it's like talking about pizza, okay? If you give me a $5 hot and ready versus a $30 Giordano's pizza, guess what? I'm gonna eat both of them because I fucking love pizza. Yeah, I do. It's like my fave. But I do have my preferences. Obviously, the one that was is more high quality, somebody took the time to make, is more flavorful, it has more toppings, it's gonna taste better. And that's just my preference. So when it comes to sex or men, I think the male species is a beautiful thing. Like, I'm obsessed with the anatomy of a male. I think it's awesome. Probably because it's just so different from my body that, you know, any any man is like, wow, that's really cool. You have one of those. That's awesome. High five, bro. But I do have my preferences, of course. And I've dated a lot of men. Like, I've had sex with too many men. Not too many. I shouldn't say too many because... <laughs> I thought it was just the right number, but it's like a hundred something, okay? And you, some of you guys are like, you're a whore. Some of you guys are like, hey, you're full of shit. You've probably been with like five dudes. And some dudes uh, 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 that you guys know me, you're like, yeah, she has. And you don't really care. You don't really know. Um, but I like to always mention the number because it. I get different reactions from people and Usually it's like, oh my god, whore, whore, whore. And I'm like, who cares? I think you're just jelly because you can't get that much but either way, don't hate guys. And from those hundred plus men that I've been with, they've all been different. Think about it, hundred plus, okay? That's a massive variety. And out of that 100 plus, I've actually only had one terrible sexual experience. And the reason was because he was teeny tiny, microscopic, okay? He had like a micro penis. And yeah, that's a thing. So micro penis, and I'm not body shaming, first of all. I know everyone's like super sensitive nowadays, so I have to, you know, put that out there. I'm not body shaming micro penises. If you have one of those and you can rock it, you can work with it, and you can do your work your magic, cool, good for you, bro. But personally for me and him, he couldn't do anything with it, and neither could I. So we're like, well, this sucks. And we just called it a day and said, peace out, bitch. And I never went and hung out with him ever again, okay? And some of you guys are like, well, you're fucking shallow. Well, eh. Okay, sex for me is a very important part of my life, and if I can't make it work with somebody and they can't make it work, then I'm not gonna bother. Um, so, yeah. But, like I said, I think all men are, you know, cool. They have that body part down there that we all love oh so much. But I do have my preference, and that is bigger. The bigger, the better, the longer, the fatter, the longer lasting for me personally is like, whoa, magical. But, that's just me personally. That doesn't mean that I don't like smaller ones, average or below average. I, I do. I do. Trust me. But my preference is just big ones that make me sore, that hurt, because I am an outlier and I like pain. I thoroughly enjoy pain. So having that pain is like, holy shit, ow, feels so good. More please. The majority of women do not enjoy pain. If they have If they're having intercourse and they feel pain, it's like, ugh, I don't want to do it again. It hurt. But that's the majority of women. So the majority of women are actually content with an average or below average uh, size man. And that's okay. So if you're an average man or below average, then consider yourself lucky because the majority of women are going to just fucking love you. They're going to love your size. They're going to love how you feel. They're going to love everything about it. Now, if you're meeting like a freak like me, and we're probably in the 5%, if that, 5% honestly would be high if that enjoy pain. Um then you might have a little tougher time if you're average size. There are certain positions that you can use to make yourself feel better. But I always tell people, just do what you can with your size. At the end of the day, if if you're looking for something more than just a one night, whatever, um, then then that kind of 
I'm not saying sex isn't important, but it's not the only thing that holds a relationship together. Um, it just doesn't. It just doesn't. I wish it did. So for me, my relationship, sex is very important. If a guy can't keep up with my libido, then I usually leave. I usually dump them because they just can't keep up. And for me, sex is that important. So you have to realize that everybody's different. The majority of women are also not so like fiending for sex as I am. They just they have a lower libido usually. My libido is sky high. I'm just one of those energetic people that's always like, let's move, let's burn calories, let's do stuff. So I really enjoy sex. I see it as a physical activity really and a great way to burn calories. But if you are a below average or average male and you're wanting to maybe get a little bit more girth, maybe get a little bit more length, I'm always telling you guys, eat enough carbohydrates, okay? Carbohydrates from sweet potatoes, oatmeal, cereals, granola, even white table sugar, fruits, grains, all of those carbohydrates are gonna give you a, a pump because for every gram that you eat of carbs, you store three of water. So you get the nice, full, hydrated pump, okay? Just like you would get that pump throughout your body, those muscles when they're nice and full, it also happens down there. So if you do that and you're drinking enough water, guess what? You're gonna get some more girth to you. You're gonna just feel better. And the thing is when you are not eating enough carbohydrates, especially carbs, your testosterone levels plummet for women, progesterone plummets, estrogen plummets, libido goes down the fucking drain. So you have to eat enough. And even more importantly than that is hydrating. If you're not having enough water, then you can't really store the carbs as effectively. So you kind of just dry out and you don't have the energy to last longer in bed. So every man is different. Some men just can shoot off one big load and then be good to go two minutes later. Some men need to rest in between. So once you know your body and how it works, then gauge from there. And I have known men that just if, if they aren't dehydrated or if they've been drinking or if they didn't eat enough or didn't sleep well, they just can't last as long or they just, they can't even finish sometimes. So you want to make sure that you're taking care of that. And then when you take care of your body, it's going to take care of you in all aspects of life, including the bedroom guys. So thank me later. Have fun. Enjoy your Tuesday.